Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Asa and I have another build video for you today. So, in my household, we take Halloween very seriously. For example, last year I got a bespoke custom fit Batman costume made. This year, my wife and I plan to do better than all of the other Barbie themed couple costumes out there by coming with a human sized Barbie box for people to take photos in, and I designed and 3D printed these human sized Barbie accessories. In this video, I'll go over all of the construction and painting of the Barbie box. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. The next few videos will be about my Prusamark 4 3D printer kit that I just got, and I'll assemble and test this out in the next couple of weeks. Well, I think that's more than enough intro, let's get to building. I started by sketching the box I wanted to build, and then I turned that into a purchase sheet for the home store. I'll put a full list of the supplies I needed in the video description, as well as the tools that I used. I haven't gotten around to setting up a dust collection system for my table saw in the basement, so I set up some carts in the front yard and just used a hand circular saw to cut down the plywood. I ended up sanding the plywood sheets so I could get a really good surface to paint on. This definitely isn't required, but it made the finish a bit nicer. After I cut everything down to size, I drew the cut that I wanted to make in the front panel. I drilled a hole because I was too lazy to put the plunge attachment on my router, and I routed out the shape of the Barbie text. Don't forget to use your respirator and eye protection for this. After the router for the complex shapes, I cut out the rest of the front panel. I used a router to cut out the heart logo. And I used a jigsaw to finish the cuts. After all the large cuts were done, I started sanding and sanding and sanding. With the front panel cut, it was time to start assembly. This part is pretty simple. It's just wood glue and brad nails. And the purpose of the nails really is just to hold the wood in place while the glue dries. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can definitely get away with just a hammer and some small finishing nails. And anytime you're using a nail gun, make sure your hands and fingers are far away from the tip of the gun so that if the nail hits a knot or it goes in some strange direction, you're not gonna puncture your fingers or hand. I repeated the same process for the rest of the faces of the box. I'd run a bead of glue down the edge, put the next face on, and then nail it in place with the brad nailer. For any of the edges that didn't fit well, I just sanded down the excess. I did some final prep, sanding, and cleaning before I got to painting.
Painting the Barbie box is quite simple, it just took a lot of time. I started by cutting in the edges with a hand paintbrush, and then I rolled all the surfaces. I did two coats of primer before laying any of the color down so that I could get a nice white finish. I didn't even cheat and I painted the top and the bottom as well. After both coats of primer dried, I masked out the lines that I wanted to paint. I used a little two inch roller to lay down the yellow and while that dried, I hand drew out the Barbie logo and the Barbie text. All of the detail work I painted by hand with a small paintbrush. I carefully laid masking tape over the existing yellow lines so that I could paint pink over everything, and then when I removed the masking tape, I'd have the nice yellow lines left. In retrospect, I really wish I would have used a vinyl cutter or something similar for the Barbie text since my painting isn't that good, but it turned out alright. And then after I finished all of the detail paintwork with the logo and the text, I painted the sides and the inside. Although I accidentally picked the wrong color, so I had to paint the inside twice. And everywhere you see color, including the hand painting, I did two coats. And that's all there was to it. The last thing I did was add some small LED strip lights to illuminate the inside. I think this will be a really nice touch when people use it for photos. Well, I think the Barbie box turned out great, and I'm really pleased with it. That's all the content I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel if you want more content on building, making, and crafting. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.